Right, short video. Short video, and I just got off the bus at Winscombe, Brown's Garage, which is on the corner there. This is the A38, very dangerous road. But I managed to get across, and I'm going up a track I've done many times. And it's very beautiful up the top there. I'll just zoom in to show you the mist coming through the trees, which I've just taken a picture of. Lovely tall trees, and there's a mist today. This, I think it's the 22nd of September, 2021. It's all the twos nearly, isn't it? Um, basically, this is the Wesp Mendip Way. Uh, I came down it several months ago after having to negotiate a big herd of cows. Very risky, that was. I'm not doing that. I'm not going back through that field today. No, I'm not even going to try it. Um, but I thought, yeah, do this little walk up. You can hear the road. It's very busy. Big, heavy lorries. Some of them full of aggregate from Cheddar Quarry. Uh, nice little gate here. Little field, I mean, with... Um, a few little sheep gathering round a little feeding place. <sighs> In the early morning dew. And uh, over there is Winscombe. There's the West Mendip Way as well. You can go up to Winscombe Church, St. James the Great, which I've done lots of walks around here. But today, I really wanted to do a little bit of Robero Warren, hence I'm going this way. I wanted to climb up Robero Warren and Dolbury Warren Hill Fort from the opposite direction to what I did last time, which was coming from the Churchill End. Uh, then I'm going to go down what I call the secret steps of the Hill Fort and then follow. The valley and stream past the pink house along the stream, then eventually I will pass Tining's Farm from a completely different angle and head my way to Cheddar. So I'm going to be doing a type of circular or a figure eight. And I should end up at Cheddar. Now it does all depend on time. The first part of this walk is going to be all uphill because I'm following the West Mendip Way. It won't be too bad. It'll weave in and out. It's not, you know, but it is gradually going up and up. There is another route I sometimes take where I, instead of going left I go right and I go on another route and that'll take me towards an old disused quarry and a used one but there's lots and lots of cows and not a lot of um, protection from them so I, I tend to do that one later in the year when they're not around that's uh, at the moment it's still cow season right it's such a lovely scene here with this lovely these lovely beams of light coming through, look. I'm going to turn off here, but I'm heading up. Be back on later, over and out. Right then, I'm making my way up slowly. This is video two. Now this is completely transformed to when I came down here a couple of months back. It could be two, three, four months ago. Normally it's great big trenches. You know, really impossible by most vehicles. But this is a, the West Mendip Way, and they have got a sign up, but I didn't have my glasses on, so I wasn't quite sure. I know they're not, they don't want horses along there, but I couldn't read it all. And at the moment, I can't see no workmen, but look what they've done. Wow, what a transformation this is. It's brilliant, really. I mean, you could even drive 
cattle along here now. Now, see, it's been a lot of fresh chopping, look. So it might not be far away. But at the moment, I've noticed this cow pack in that field. If they ask me, I'm not turning back. They're just going to have to let me pass. But I haven't got much further to go along here, really. Um, but it is good how much easier it is to walk. So I'm near Winscombe, on my way towards Shipham. And uh, this is a transformation. Beautiful trees that they've left all the way along. There's ash and oak along here, probably elm. Um, there's a farm in there. Um, like I said, I've seen cow pack, so there's no way I will get into a field with cows. Um, not only that, my feet would get really, really wet so quickly. <sighs> the routes I'm doing, my feet shouldn't get wet at all. Apart from when I got up and possibly on the hill for it. They're all <sighs> good tracks. Even up through row barrows, people know they're sort of proper, proper routes. Proper, like type of concrete type pathways in some many places, the main arteries of Robero are, so that the woodman can get through. Now I would say it would be a bit tight if they came along now and told me to turn back when I'm closer to that way than going back. But it's just good, it really opens up the really opens up the track and the view, you get a completely different impression. I liked it how it was before, but this is much easier on the feet and the knees and the back. Before, it's huge trenches and thick mud um, and, and huge pools of water forming these trenches. Um, so I expect really they just decided, let's get this sorted. It won't have to be done now again for a long time. And it was probably like this originally, you see. But I just gotta hope that the workmen aren't just up here when there's not much for me to do now. If you see what I mean. I don't know when that sign was up. I never had my glasses. I couldn't read hardly any of it. They did it in small print. I couldn't read it. And as far as I'm concerned, it looks clear. I can't see why they can't let me pass. There's no vehicles, there's no saws or axemen here. And I just say, look, it's further back for me to go back and come forward. You just have to let me pass. Let's keep our fingers crossed because my walks are sometimes never straightforward anyway. You know, I don't want to go back though. I think I'd change the whole walk if I had to go back now. You can see where they've done a bit of scooping here. Lovely valley down through there, down to Winscombe. Look at that gorgeous oak tree, isn't it beautiful? In your last bits of bloom, aren't you, before the winter? This is the second day of autumn. Um, September 2021. And I mean, at the moment, I can't see any sign of a workman. I think they've gone through and they've done it. I can see a West Mendip Way, though. God, I've never seen that before. I know that field, though, so I know I'm very close now. John's End. Now, there is various styles up on the other route. There's a parallel route to this one, the higher up one, which I do sometimes. And look at that big slab there, which my mind, I might not have, I never noticed this bit before. I never noticed this big slab. And John's End before. And a gate. So, obviously, but I recognise that field. That could be a way up to the other track. And this is some sort of marker pole. It's old, isn't it? I'm going to stop now and take a picture of these things. Hold on, I'll be coming back on. When I make my way up there and there's a West Mendip sign on the tree there, a blue one with an arrow. Right, over and out a minute.